back. The time now is 613 and seven people were shot and killed over the weekend in Baltimore. And this morning there have been no arrests in any of those cases. WMAR 2 News' Aaron McPherson joins us live from outside Baltimore Police Headquarters with Aaron on how city leaders are responding to this uptick in violence. Good morning, Megan. Well, Police Commissioner Michael Harrison says they still need help from the community to be able to solve these crimes. Now, he stressed what we saw over the weekend is just a result of the culture of violence here in Baltimore. Now, he went on to say this is not a result of anything they did or failed to do. It's decisions by, quote, bad actors. Now, in addition to the shootings over the weekend, there were 21 robberies across the city. Officers made 11 arrests, eight for handguns and three for robbery. 22 new police recruits started this week, part of the department's strategy to add more officers to the street for safer communities. Now, Mayor Brandon Scott's office did not respond when we reached out about the weekend violence, but he did retweet a post and a picture of him at a mayor's conference in D.C. where gun violence hurting communities was a topic of conversation. Now, seven people were shot and killed over the weekend in the city. A quadruple shooting happened on Saturday night near the intersection of Liberty Heights and Gwyn Oak Avenues. We talked with a woman who lives in the area and is all too familiar with the sound of gunfire. She didn't want to show her face. Yeah, we can hear it. So you heard we heard the shooting, but we didn't come out to find out what was going on. You can sit on our porch and every time you turn around, it's shooting, shooting, shooting. I done lost my brother through a killing. I done lost my um, cousin through a killing. My son through a killing. Others who were nearby at the time of that quadruple shooting on Saturday night say when the gunfire started, people went running into the grocery store and in every direction to get out of harm's way. Three people died following that shooting, 25-year-old Jawan Hall and 26-year-olds Darian Savoy and Timothy Brown. A man in his 70s was also hurt and he did survive. Now, no arrests have been made in any of the shootings from the weekend. If you have any information, you can call Metro Crime Stoppers at number 1-866-7-LOCKUP and you can remain anonymous when calling that number. For now, we're live here at BPD headquarters. Aaron McPherson, WMAR 2 News.